What is going on my Nerd Army guys? Welcome to another episode of Nerds Memorized and today we will be doing another reaction. This will be a reaction to Ruby, volume number four, chapter number four, titled Family. Now guys, volume four has been pretty freaking awesome so far. Um, we're only, I've only been three in so far so can't wait to see what's happening. I'm working on catching up on all the Ruby videos so Without further ado, let's get into chapter number four, family, and check this one out. So here we go. Every intro is always awesome, but I don't know. I, I still think the first one's still my favorite, but this one's pretty badass. I mean, just the music, the flow, the the way everything flashes in, I, it just looks dope. Weiss is such a badass. I still remember when I first started watching the Ruby videos, and I was like, volume one, I was talking shit about Weiss every fucking episode. Every time she was just a stuck-up bitch, I called her a stuck-up bitch. What just fucking happened? Austin, what? Uh, it's the one armed gangster. Two arms. Oh. You need to jack his ass up. Put your metal arm on and whoop his ass. Don't be a stubborn asshole, Yang. Put that shit on. Like 
auditorium looking at Crow wearing a skirt. Then Oz tells everyone it's time to work on our landing strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the Broadway twins have always made interesting to try to me. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey, come on, man. She's right here. Oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. That's not the issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. And I think I've been through enough to be considered an adult at this point. Adult or not, you still got a long way to go before you're ready for the real world. Oh my gosh, does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? Yeah, <laughs> we use them when we mean it. Is that so? As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, huh. well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. You jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like, being given out like that in rare need. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. I'm... scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal. And I appreciate it. But... this... is normal now. She's feeling it. Normal is what you make it. Well said. What's that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone. And it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. Okay, well said again. My sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. Oh. I... Fear is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle why, even I find myself wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Really? You? He's afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine! <laughs> and don't even get me started on their tail. So hairless, simply unnatural. <laughs> it's good to see Lang Yang laugh, though. Uh, snap that shit on. Let's let's. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Hi, Could be 
be a lot worse. I really thought we'd see more grim. As did I. I guess I lucky. Don't don't talk about them because that's when they show up. Yeah, it's like Beetlejuice and shit. Oh, crow, gangster. That's where they're not seeing no grim crows handling it. See Crow jack somebody so bad. Who the what the fuck? Hello, brother. Uh. Raven. Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Austin would fail, and he has. Now you tell me. Does... Salem, have it. I thought you weren't interested in all of that. I just want to know what we are up against. And which we are you referring to? <sighs> you should come back, Raven. The only way we beat her is by working together. All of us. You're the one who left. The tribe raised us, and you turned your back on them. They were killers and thieves. They were your family. You have a very skewed perception of that word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw the people of Shion saw too. The weak die, the strong live. Those are the rules. Well, you've certainly got someone strong on your side. I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. I'm not talking about the Grim. <laughs> I'm not talking about you, either. If you don't know where the relic is, then we have nothing left to talk about. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is, either. You do. I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. And which we are you referring to? Oh, uh, bad bitch.
yeah, yeah. Handle it. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, daddy training class? Ah. All right, guys. So, that was cool. That was actually really awesome. <laughs> Up until the very last second, I was so pissed. Like, so we got to meet Raven. She was kind of fucking creepy. Um, got to see a little bit more of Crow. It looks like Crow's watching over Ruby and the gang as they travel because he's killing all the fucking Grim everywhere. That's Crow being a badass. All right. So we all know Crow's a bad motherfucker, but I want to see him just lay down some smack on a giant grim. <laughs> so guys, all in all, this was a really cool episode. I, I did really enjoy it a lot. Um, we got to see a little funnier side of it, a little bit more of a deeper side with Yang. Um, at the end, we got to actually see her throw the arm on, which was really cool. And it's just another step for that character that she just like realizes, like, you know what, I got, I'm going to... I'm going to handle this shit. Let's do this. And she gets over that little fear and that little step for her as a character progressing that way is just really, really cool. Um, but this was a great episode. It was really cool. Uh, I hope the next one has a little bit more action. This one had a lot more character building and story development. That was really cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for the next episode. So guys, make sure you guys hit that like thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed yourself and make sure you guys smash that subscribe button to keep up with me and all the other ruby videos i do every week guys i will be catching up on the ruby series um within the next few days hopefully and i will be back to brand new ones as they come out every week so let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments down below and always if you guys have any other videos you'd like to suggest for me to do reactions for or any other topic videos you'd like me to do on Ruby, make sure to put them down in the comments down below and I will get to them and get back to you guys as soon as possible. I always respond to all my subscribers so feel free and I always like talking to you guys so thanks for all the support from all the Ruby, Ruby fans and I'm excited for the rest of this volume. Let's get into them. So guys, I'll see you guys next time right here on Earth Marais for another Ruby reaction. All right, peace out. Wait guys, before you go, make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button to keep up with us right here in Nerds Marais. And also go check out all the other videos we have laid out in all the playlists we have set up. And hope to see you guys next time right here on Nerds Marais. Stay nerdy.